day three, and I guess I'm gonna decide to play this. New game? I don't know what sound that was. I see an anno annoying girl running towards me from the a distance, waving her arms in the air. Like she's totally obvious to any attention she might draw to her. That girl is <gasps> my neighbor and good, good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friends the kind of friend you never see yourself making today but it just kind of works out because you know each other for so long we used to walk to school together on days like this but starting around high school we, she would oversleep more and more frequently and I would get tired of waiting up but if she going to chase after me like this, I almost feel feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let <laughs> catch up to me. <laughs> it's annoying. It's all ordinary school day like any other mornings are usually the worst being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together mm. meanwhile I always walk to school alone I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that but I have no motivation to join any clubs I'm perfect I'm perfectly contact, content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games on manga. There's an anime club, but it's n not like there's there would be any girls in it anyway. The school day is as ordinary, ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pick up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for a ounce of motivation. Clubs. Clubs. There, there really aren't any that interested me. I, I don't know anymore. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to, to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Ethan? Uh, Monica? Oh, oh my goodness. I totally didn't, didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Ah, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other well. We rarely talk, but we are in the same class last we were in the same class this year last year I mean Monica was probably the most I'm gonna save it right here uh, okay um probably the most popular girl in class smart beautiful athletic basically completely out of my league so having her smile at me so generously gen ah, feels a little oh what did you come in here for anyway oh I just been looking looking for some supplies to use for my club do you know if there's any instruction paper in here or markers I guess you you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Uh, about that, I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but argue about the budget and 
city, I don't know, and how to prepare for a fence, I'd rather, I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club! Uh, uh, okay. Literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, uh, it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find in new members for something that sounds so boring. Oh, well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know. Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of the m members even keeps her manga collection in the classroom. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, and a member is a member, right? Did Monica said she? Um, hey, Ethan. Any chance are you still looking for clubs to join? Ah, uh, I mean, I guess so, but in case that, in that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at least visit my club, it would make me really happy, please. Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. Ah, awesome. You're really sweet, Ethan, you know that? See, this is the real me. I'm sweet. See, look at me. I'm a puppy dog. No, wait, I'm a... I'm a cute pig. You don't have to judge me. <laughs> I'm cringy. It's really nothing. I mean, it's it's nothing really. There. Shall we go then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. Oh. And all through today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her her sis. I don't know, her smile. I timidly, follow, I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I rarely visit. I'm going to just save this real quick. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I want to. Being generally used for third year classes and activities, Monica full of energy Swins open the classroom door. Oh! I'm back. I brought a guest with me. Uh huh. Uh -huh. A guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? Why'd you kill the atmosphere? Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Ethan. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredible cute girls. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki, the girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Ah. Uh, anyways, mm. this is Netsuki. Uh, yeah, as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparable, more mature, and Tibet, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Netsuki. Well, it's nice to meet you. It's not to meet both of you. So I ran into Ethan in the classroom and he decided to, to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica! Did... Did someone change? Did I tell you to let me know in advantage before you brought anyone new? Um... I 
was going to, well, you know, sorry, sorry, I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at, at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Ethan? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Manka and Nesuki sit across from each other. S still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So... So... I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and excited for everyone. I'm surprised there, there aren't more people in the club yet. It might be hard to start a new one. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the, all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. Uh, you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the Festival that much more important. I'm convinced that we all can really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agreed. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to get hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a tea set in front of, of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. Uh, you keep a whole tea set in the this classroom? Don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. All, after all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. Uh, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that's not insulted. Insulted. Y Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but... I at least enjoy tea. Okay. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles smiles to herself in relief. So Ethan, what kinds of, what kinds of things do you like to read? Uh well uh considering how little I, I read these past few years. I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mumble mu mumble quietly to myself. Mm -mm. Half joking. Mm -mm. Manga? 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 Natsuki's head suddenly perks out. Perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. <gasps> oh, okay. Ah, uh, 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 no. Uh, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Sayori's sad... No. Yuri's sad face. There you go. Yuri. Yuri. In a way, what about you, Yuri? Let... Well, let... Let's see. Yuri... Tr tr uh, I'm not doing this again. Tr traces the rim of her teacup with her with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creati creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a boring world is equally Im impressive. 
Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved. Reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep uh, psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can do that uh, can't is it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own like imagination to loop to completely throw you through a loop? Okay, Dan, I know what you're doing. It's like Groundhog's Day. You're just basically rewinding me every, every, and every time and changing the story. Okay, rant, little rant, rant is over. Anyways, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Uh, I read a horror book once. I despite guess something I can relate to it to at the miniature level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with the rock. Ah, uh, I expect theft from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a, if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Sor uh, surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the wor world. If only for a brief moment. Um, just looking at something, um, nothing changed. <gasps> oh God! What the heck? It's right here. I don't know if you see my mouse, but it's right here. I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eye, eyes start over to me for a split second. Well, never mind. That's right. You are usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Well, what? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last, last club meeting. It looks... It l looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! Are we not going to question the Hank person that I saw back in day two? God. Oh my god. And give that back to me. Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poem? Your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. What do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometimes? N no! Oh, uh, Natsuki averts her eyes. You won't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I I understand how Natsuki feels. Starting sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence the, the truest form of writing is writing to oneself uh. mm. okay you must be willing to open up your readers exposing your oh that word and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart this game is actually playing with my emotions and my mind I almost clipped that. There. 
do you do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, I, I guess it's the same for Yuri. We we all sit in in silence for a moment. Hey, I got an idea. How about this? Huh? Natsuki and Yuri looks quizzily at Monica. Let's go home and write a poem of our own. And then next time we meet, we'll sh all share them with everyone, each other. That's, that way, everyone is even. Um. <laughs> ah, I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to to do like to participate uh, participate on oh, right in together I decide decide to take on the responsibility of vice president after all I need to do my best to like turn I don't know the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Ethan? Hold on! There's still one problem. Uh, why's that? Now that we're, we have reached the most important topic, I burst come forth in what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I, I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lost my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with delect eyes. But, oh I'm sorry, I thought, mm. uh, the girls uh, exchange glances uh, before Monica turns back to me. I, I, I guess I need to tell the truth, Ethan. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form, to form an official club. We need four. And, I, and I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one one more before the festival, I, I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How, how am... Oh, okay. <sighs> okay, that got me excited. How am I supposed to make a clear head decision when it's like this? I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls, right. Okay, I decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Ethan? Yeah, it could be fun, right? You, you really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after all of this, I would be, I would be really super pissed. Ethan, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everybody remember today's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all hear, share. I mean, Monica looks over at me much more. Ethan, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah, I can. Can I really express, impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? 
I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. I mean, when I have anxiety, I won't, I don't move, I don't breathe, nothing. But this time I'm just moving, but just br not breathing. Meanwhile, the the girls continue to chat chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. With that, I depart the classroom and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. All it just needs to make the most of my circumstances... And I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Oh, uh, sure. A joke. Um, a joke. A man walked into a club. And in the club, there was a girl who lo who liked him very much. They spent some time time together, and she liked him even more. One day the girl realized she was in love with him. Before disaster disaster could hap happen, a, th a third party infant with her programming. Suddenly the girl hated herself for being in love. The, oh, this is talking about Sayori. The, uh, the con contract or contiction caused the script to derail. The owner first started to collapse, but she cured herself just in just in time. Um, playground. Swim. Fireflies. Kitty. Special. Sweet Marshmallow Not the DJ Puppy Peace to Milk Hot Bros No Dark Whistle Whistle? Okay Sunset Promise his own Sunset Candy! Smile! Wait! Yay! Pink! Nope. Play! Bubbles! Family! Anime Sit Cute Only got one wrong Hi again Ethan Hi Monica Okay Glad to see you Didn't Glad to see you didn't run away from us Haha <laughs> Nah don't worry this might be a little strange for me, but at least keep my word. Well, well, I'm back at Literature Club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. That- ah, ah, ah! Thanks for keeping your promise, Ethan. The poster changed on the wall! It's not- it's not Sayori anymore. Thanks for keeping your promise, Ethan. I hope this isn't overwhelming for a commit a commitment of for you. Maybe you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. <laughs> Day three and it's all creepy. <laughs> Oh, come on! 
Like he deserved any slack. You already had to to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. <laughs> why why are you in front of the text? Natsuki uncertainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps manga collections in the club room. Uh, ma, ma, ma. Is that supposed to happen? Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and Manga. Ma manga is a literature. I think I saw one manga book one manga book once. Was it good? It was amazing. But I really didn't understand the back like you had to read the book backwards and stuff. But hey, that's just me in general. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Oh, it's turning. Oh, the classroom is... The camera is tilted. I'm sorry, Ethan. You'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? You sh... Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointing glare. Um, anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you may have interested in picking up a book to read? Yeah, can you actually, actually fix the camera, like, the camera angle? Because I can't tilt my head more longer. Well, I can't really say no, no either way. Like you said, I'm in, I'm in this club now. So... It only feels right for me to do something like this, if you ask. Oh, wait. I didn't mean it like that. Uh, if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Uh, no, no, no. Ah, uh, no. Uh, it's not like that, Yuri. I want to try to be a part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'll be happy to pick up a book if you want me to. Uh, I do your mouth change? Oh God! The, uh, are you sure? Uh, I just feel like, well, as a vice president and all that I should help you get started on something you might, might like. Y Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked a, picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a, it's a short, it's a short read. So it should keep your, it should, yeah, it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read and and we could you know discuss it if you want I'm gonna save it just in case um, uh, uh, this this is how is how is this girl accidentally being so cute she even picked out a book she thinks I like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read it. I take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. Um. Uh, I don't what I don't know what my pace is. Well, one minute. Uh. Oh shit. Whoop. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> okay. I I look forward 
to hear what you think. Sound fix. Now that, now that enjoys that. Why did I say enjoys? Now that everyone settle in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummering ar around in the closet. Uh, I hear Natsuki utter, utter and express sighs from within the closet. She must to be annoyed about something. I approach her in case she needs a, a hand. Uh, you looking for something in there? Fucking Monica! Oh. She never puts my stuff back in the right s spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is, is just going to mess it up? Monica slides... I'm not Monica. Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books in, in, in boxes across the shelves. Manga? You read manga, right? Ah, sometimes. Manga is is one of those things where you you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. Uh, how did you know, in a way? I hear you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I see. There's a lone fight uh, volume of manga stack of ferris books on the side of one of the shelves. Curiously, I pull it out of the shelf stack. There it is! Nasuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and s slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, oh, much better! Saying a box set with one book missing is probably the most sight in the world. I know that feeling. I get a closer look f at the books, the box set she's am admiring. Perf, perf. Uh, Perfen Girls? It's a series I never heard of in my life. That probably m means it's either it's n either way out of my demographic or it's simple, simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you could you could go do it though. You can go do it though. The glass on the door. Wait, through the glass, through the door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, 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 I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Ethan. Considering this... <laughs> don't judge a book. In fact, Nanaka pulls out the first volume of Parf... Fence girls from the book. I'm gonna show you exactly why she shoves the book in right into my hands. Ah, uh, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in co in color attire, striking animated female poses. I guess it's m extendingly more. Don't just stand there. Uh, Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. A closet. Then she takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsill. She pats on the ground next to her, sending me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs won't work. You 
can't read it at the same time like this. Uh, why's that? Uh, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. <laughs> Don't just say that. You'll make it. You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and snudges in a inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the a additional space while she hopes I wouldn't notice. I I can feel her peering over my shoulder, more and more eager to begin reading than I am. Uh, how long has it been since since I read the beginning? Um, you don't go back and flip through the old uh through the old volumes every now and then. Not really. Maybe sometimes after I I'll finish already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing really happening yet, so I can I can talk at the same time. Uh, it looks like it's bunch. It's about a bunch of friends in high school. It's typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew up uh, grew out of these. Since it's rare for the writing to be an entertaining, enough to make up for the lack of plot. Oh, uh, are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not, even though you're just watching me and read. Well, oh, you're so cute. You now you're like two years like older than me. It's not, it's not creepy, it's not weird, but she does look like my age. Well, to be honest, she would go out with a hideous person like me. I'm just kidding. Well, maybe. I don't know. Okay. I'm, I, I'm fine with that. If you say so, I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I guess it, I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoyed. You know what I mean. Uh -huh. Um, you don't. Uh -huh. Um, that's not, well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Do you share your manga with your friends? Could, could you not rub it in? Jeez. Ah, uh, sorry. Mm. Like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is, is for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Uh, you still haven't grown out of that? Yeah. Makes me want to punch them in the face. Uh, I know those kind, kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge much less friends who are into also into it I'm already kind of a loser so I guess I gravitate towards the other losers over time I mean that's me sometimes like at school today at lunch my no wait, my friend Austin and I uh, like he said we're both uh, we're both nerds losers and I'm like I'm agreeing with him like we are we like like Mar Marvel and video games and anime and that type of crap but to be honest losers are not sometimes like get like chess people or tech techno geeks or something like that it's about being you what you like the most for example anime or for me I like anime games and and well what was the other one? Games. Comics. Wait, anime, games, and comics, I believe. No. 
I don't know anymore. I forgot what I said. Maybe when I'm editing this, trying to censor all how far I swore in this uh, this playthrough. I will see what I said. Yeah, but it's probably harder for someone someone like you. Uh huh. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it keep it in my own room. My one. My dad would beat the shit out of me if he finds this. Oh. Oh god. <coughs> at, least, at least it's safe here in the class. Protect this girl. She, she needs to tell someone. And basically, let me just take her. She could live with me, okay? I. At least it's safe here in the classroom. Uh, Monica is kind of a jerk about it. Uh, I just can't win, I can't. Can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you enjoy yourself, right? Uh... <laughs> so? Ah. Uh, Jeez, that's enough. Are you going to keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. Uh. 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 Time passes. Matsuki is strangely quiet now. I glances over at her. It looks like she started to fall, started to fall asleep. Natsuki, yeah? Natsuki collapsed straight into me. Hey, hey! <laughs> oh, jeez. Natsuki, are you, are you okay? Here. Manka reaches into her bag, pulls out some kind of protein bar. She froze it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and and tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give. Mm -hmm. She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, Ethan. She's fine. It it just happens every now and then. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. In a way, why don't we all share our, our yeah, Natsuki. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poem yesterday. It's probably only fair if not if if I start if I shared mine with her first. Uh, I just in case, I don't want this recording to crash because, true fact, uh, yesterday, day two, uh, I couldn't start, like, recording. And I realized it wasn't recording, so I, at least I saved the game, but I had to delete some stuff on my, um, on my, like, on the files and stuff. Well, not this, like, not the games, but, but some, like, junk file that I don't even need. Oh yeah, back to the uh, game. It's probably only fair if I share mine with her first. Uh huh. Uh. Uh. Okay. Well, let's start with the thing I don't like. First of all, um, Nasuki rereads my poem. Never mind. I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Huh? Then what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. <laughs> In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poem? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. <laughs> well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was if yours was really bad 
You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, Ha! Well, it's not, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went, and you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy, uh, so in other words, you're saying, so you're saying you like it? Eh! <laughs> Natsuki retorts, gets catch in her throat. <laughs> you're so, you're, you, you just, you don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. You don't have to go announcing it to the world like you, you're all self-important. Pretty sure you, you never s actually said that. I, I said that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I, I can't figure out if it's a winner or lose that she liked my poem. In case, you still need to show me yours, right? Uh, uh, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Aw, the saxophone. Eagles, I think she read this before. So there's no point of reading this, to be honest. Yeah. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I won't like it? Well, because. Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all... Oh, no. And stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously but isn't the point of po poems for people to express themselves your writing style uh, wouldn't make your message any less valid yes exactly I like when it's easy to read but it hits you hard like in this poem seeing everyone around you do great things can can be really disheartening Aww. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the the other nice thing about slipper writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it a flat, a fall flat on purpose. It helps bring on, bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't ex expect that from a, the youngest one here, didn't you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with the last, with the that last comment. I didn't really care how old everyone is, but ne if Netsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Um. Uh... Uh, um, yeah. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes more than I. Um, oh, I. Sorry, I forgot to start speaking. I, I see. I don't have to read this. I. Hi, Ethan. Having a having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. See, I'm sorry, guys, but this is actually just a, a loop. Groundhog's Day. You just keep on going and going and going and going. But in this case, if Sayori is dead, that means I can need to try to hit it off with uh, Natsuki. Okay. That sounds reasonable, but okay. Good. Glad to hear. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ha even have any suggestions for the club, like new act new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Oh, really? You can lit? You're listening to me right now. I'm watching you. <laughs> okay, that was weird at the end, but hey. Don't be afraid to 
bringing things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm s I'm more settled in. Uh, anyways, want to share want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ah, uh, don't worry, Ethan. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of um bear. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, bearer year. There, I finally said it. That we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my my poem. Hmm. I like you, Ethan. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expect. Ah. Uh. Oh. If someone actually just makes me just sans and just like and like. You know how the... Uh, okay, people who do not know how Undertale really ended, if you're trying to like, beat it in an evil ending, well, picture this. When you're about to fight Sans, you will see Sans in a normal character at first, but when you're in a fight with him, and there's me, just like... I love Toby Fox, anyways. Ah, uh, jeez. No, no, no. It kind of makes me think of something that Suki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So that take... So take that as a compliment. Uh, if you say so. Yep. If you're interested in Natsuki, then always keep a snack on you. She'll cling to you like a puppy. Eh. Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money. Or leave any food in the house so she's in a fussy a fussy mood pretty pretty often but sometimes she just loses all her strength and shuts down like earlier this is just a guess but I think she's so small but because her oh, malnutrition is inferring with her growth oh but hey some guys are into pity girls too, you know? Sorry, just trying to look at the bright side. Just trying to look at the bright side. Anyways, do you, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not even good. You sound pretty convinced for someone who claims not to be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always have to... I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, I'll read it then. Okay, I read this before, so. Huh. Uh. Um. Oh, wait. Hole in the wall. I think this isn't the poem that I read on day one, though. Um, hole in the wall. But he hasn't looked at me. Confused? I glance at my surroundings. But my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are the are there others in the in this room? Are they talking or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of uh the sound of playing tr tricks on on my ear. The room begins to crickle, cl closing in on me. The air I breathe. Uh, like disappears before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swa swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. I wow. So what do you think? Um, it's it's 
Yeah, I read this before. No, wait. I read that. Uh, yeah. I, I pretty much read this, but... Uh, uh, I'm not sure how to put this. I guess I'll do about that. Um. Oh. Anyway, okay, here we go. Sometimes when you write a poem or a scrawn story, your brain gets, uh, if you try to put, uh, in, then you may, just don't force yourself to do and tie it up later. And, and, oh. Okay. One moment. Oh. Okay. Okay, the music went off. I guess that's everyone. I'm saving this real quick. I grant glance around the room that was a little more stressful than I anti compa I don't know. It's as if Everyone is judging me for my mediocre riding ability. Even if they just be nice, there's no other. There's no one. No, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that that's what I ended up getting myself into. Cross. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes lay on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchanged. Exchanged. Okay. Sheets of paper sharing their respect poems. As they read in tandem, I watch. Oh, they're. I. Watch each of, of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyes follow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri uh, smiles sadly. What's with this language? Uh? Uh, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki just missively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess I could say I could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute. Okay. It's It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I uh, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you had to try that hard to come... Try that hard to come up with something nice to say. Uh... Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um... Well, I did have a couple suggestions. Mm? If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who re actually liked it. Which person... Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it, and, and Ethan did too. So based on that, I'm gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me... Well, excuse me, princess! I offer the... Uh, I appreciate the offer but I'll spend a lot a long time stabilizing my writing style 
I don't expect it to, to change anytime soon, unless of of course I come and come across something inspiring, which I haven't yet. <laughs> and Ethan liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. I did not say that. I actually skipped your dialogue. The music stopped. Natsuki suddenly stand up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. <laughs> That's not what I. I uh, uh, Um, sorry, I got something in the... F so my friends told me to open up the Doki Doki literature file. I found a picture of happy thoughts, and it's sad. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but let me just read this, okay? There's a l l little demon inside of all of us. Beneath the... Uh, the fun... Man, function... Percent... There. Oh, I can't understand this, but let me just cut to Detroit. Um, something about um, I don't know. Okay, I'm back. Y you, you're just oh, okay. Your stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous as Ethan appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Uh, and how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I, uh, no. If I was a fool of myself, I would del I would go out of my way to make things I do over cutesy. <laughs> well, you know what? No, I was the. I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as usual as Ethan started started showing up. And that's okay. <laughs> this is funny. I just picture me just eating popcorn. Um. Um, Natsuki, that's a little. This doesn't involve you! Taking out with our. Uh, um. Uh. No, I'm not reading this. Me! Look who's talking! You wanna be edgy, bitch! Edgy? Sorry. Th that my. Uh. Uh. Uh, your mental uh, uh, uh. see just saying that proves my point uh, uh, um, most people learn to get over themselves as they graduate middle school you know if you want to prove anything then separate others with your sicking attitude you, you could you think you can't counterbalance your toxic pet personality just by dressing and acting cute. The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Well, be careful or you might cut yourself on the edge. Oh, uh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yuri, I, I'm rooting for the Suki here. Oh, my bad. You're already... You're already... You already do. Don't you? Uh, did did you just excuse me, accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Uh, yeah, go on. Let Ethan hear everything you really think. I'm sure he's he'll be head over heels for you. Any after this? Uh, <laughs> Suddenly Yuri turns towards me as if. She just knows I was just standing here. Yeah, I'm, I'm standing right behind you guys. I'm rooting for Natsuki. Wait, am I thir uh, first year or third year? I guess I'm a third year. Ethan, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. 
She started it. Uh, how good? Uh, 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 Crap. Uh oh. oh. Um. Um. Why don't we step outside for a bit? Okay? <laughs> Sorry about the. Sorry about that. They. They really shouldn't have try to get in get you involved it's probably better for for us to stay out of this we'll go back inside once they're done ye yelling huh <laughs> some person I am right I can't even confront my own club members properly I just wish I was able to oh uh, I was able to be a little more assistive sometimes but it, but I have, but I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You know, you understand, right? In a way, if if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'll be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you, Yuri. You just... If you beat up my... If you just beat up Natsuki, that's like actually wrong. You actually abused your... Oh, no, that's actually dark. She quickly runs away. Oh, dear. Well, it looks like they're done. Uh, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palm on her forehead. Yuri? Uh, I, I didn't mean it! I, I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki or did. Ethan, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like... I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fun. It's fun, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Uh, anyways, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Uh, oh god, that's actually dark. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. But she keeps glancing at Monica. Uh, you can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. Uh, I'm the president, so I should be the the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. <laughs> uh, well, I'm the vice president, so please, let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not like that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Ethan. It would be... It would just be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. But I really... <laughs> Games. Sweet. Doki Doki. Joy. No. Fireflies. Sunny. Can. 
candy! Laugh! Kit! Kit! Kiss! Fun! Puppy! Oh. Poof! Kawaii! Oh no, Romano family! Kitty! Lollipops! Oh no, there's a new text file. Am I afraid to open this? I might. Um, I hate this. I can't do anything. Nothing. Uh, this is just called I. I hate this. I can't do anything. Nothing. No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would be really, really easy to kill myself right now. Sayori. Sayori. No, no, it can't be. But that would mean I don't get... I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want is for you to hate them. Why is that so hard? Uh... Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. I got a... A little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the classroom, the usual scene greets me. <laughs> Welcome back, Ethan. No, oh, hi, glitchy Yuri. Uh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression. But the way of yesterday's still hangs in the air a little. Oh, um, Yuri glanced over at her shoulder, looking across the room. Natsuki is reading manga at a desk, and surprisingly, Mo Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I, I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before, and something just be just came over me. I guess I wasn't acting mental, mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Y y Yuri, I'm happy that you were considering and apolog apologize. You don't have to worry too much, even though I only been here a couple of days. I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we... If we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. Uh, day three. Uh... But whatever it it was, it doesn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person, and not like that. You're apologizing. I I know you're you really didn't mean it. Uh, Ethan, don't say those kinds of things so frankly they just make me a little too happy I'm really glad that you're such a understanding person and I'm very glad that you joined this club everything is a little bit brighter with you around and uh -huh. sorry was what am I saying right now I just hey have you seen have you guys seen Monica? Uh, no, I haven't. I, w I was also kind of wondering... I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man, Yuri, 
I'm guessing you haven't either. Uh, Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. N n no, I, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. Uh, what? Why are you looking, looking at me like that? Uh, Natsuki, about yesterday, I just want to apologize. I promise I didn't mean anything, any of those things I said. And I'll do my best to under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you t talking about? Did you say, did you do something yesterday? Eh, uh, jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing! I don't even remember anything bad happening! You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? Uh, but... Uh, 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 I'll accept your apology anyways, if it helps you feel better. Uh, besides, it's kind of nice to hear, since I was always afraid you secretly hated me, or something like that. Uh, no, not at all. I don't hate you. Uh, well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Uh, Nasuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey! Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I wasn't! I was not! Really? Ah. Uh, what took you so long, anyway? Uh... Well, my last period today was stay hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Uh, that that makes no sense, though. You have, you would have heard the bell at least. I must have, I must not have heard it since I was practicing pi piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Uh, don't give me more c credit than I. To serve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm I'm still not really good yet. Still, that m must require a lot of de dedication. So I'm still impressed. Ah. Uh, well, thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometimes. Ah, uh, that's Monica looks at me. Well. I'm working on writing the song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Ethan. Monica s smiles sweetly. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Uh, don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that... That's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I, I'm i not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best luck of... Best of luck. Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I chose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki has already ran off into her closet, Ethan. Um... Since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. I uh, I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you after you gave that the bat that book to me. Uh. Well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After all, we finished reading yesterday. She she's fine. She's reading over there, see? Don't think about her so much! She used to be ignored. Come on! We're going over there! 
Mm -hmm. What's the story about, in a way? Well, um, I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled... Okay. Don't get that reference. There's a, uh, a look and eye symbol on the on the front cover. Basically, it's about this religion camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. And the people trapped there have this trail that turns them into ki killing machines that lust for blood. But the factor gets even worse and they start selecting breeding people by cutting out their limbs and affecting them too. Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. Uh, by the way, I'm, but anyway, I'm really into it. The buck, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of, that's kind of dark, isn't it? Okay. You're made it sound like it was going to be a nice story so so that dark t turn came f from nowhere um uh, um uh, do the cross you gotta have jesus uh, wait i'm cringy though mm -hmm. there Uh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Ethan? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I, I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and re concludes uh, on the outside. But her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story, it's a it's the kind of kind that challenge you to look at life from a new uh, from a new strange new per sep oh. when the horror things happen not just because someone wants to be evil because but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyways that's all uh, 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 I'm I'm rambling, am I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's all right then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem when I let things like books or writings fill my mind. Thoughts. My whole body gets up. Oh. I. Uh. I. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So. I'm sorry if I ended up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's. I don't. I really don't think you. You need to worry. That's just that just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's literature club after all. Uh that's well that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? <laughs> I'm in my room alone. I'm afraid of something that's gonna be glitching right behind me? Or going through that door like somebody wants to tell me the world is gonna roll me. I oh my god, Shrek is love. She oh god, uh yeah. I mean you don't have to, but uh, uh what are you saying? It is. Let me just get the book. I quickly received the book that I put in into my bag. All right. It's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little per I don't know how to say that word. That's... I'm sorry. 
It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not used to. That uh, that is reading in com with company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, uh, all right. I open the. Now I'm gonna check my phone real quick. I'm. Just I wait a minute. Sean message me? Oh, it's my friend. <laughs> uh, okay. So, yeah. Okay, I open the book and start the po the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading and company. It's as if I can feel her present over my shoulder as I read. It's not a bad thing. Might be a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat com comfort comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading f from my book instead. Uh, sorry. I just... <gasps> oh. Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do. I didn't... I... <laughs> I don't really mean it. Sorry. I mean... Uh... Hey. This should work, right? I slide my desk until it ends against Yuri's, then hold and hold my book more between the two of us. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri closes her own copy. Once we we each lean a bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is, is in the way so instead I use my right arm to hold the book open uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page here oh Yuri takes her left hand that arm I mean holds the left side of the book between her thumbs and fourth finger. Is that what the actual the pointer finger is called? Fourth finger? That's good to know to be honest. Ah. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn the pa page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side but in holding it like this we're holding we're even closer together than before it's kind of, it's actually kind of distracting me oh it's if it's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Uh, to turn the page? Ah, uh, sorry. I think I got distracted for a second. I glance over at. Net. Oh, she looks at me. Uh, don't look at me. Go look at the book. Day three is a musical. Oh wait. This is not the, but it's a cringy cover video. Hmm. I glance over at 
Yuri's face again and our, our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh, that's okay. She smiles. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It probably the least I can do since you've been so patient with me. Uh, uh yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Uh, Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finished with the page before me so I can turn it by my own philosophy. We, fi we continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, after uh, turning each page almost feels like a inmate uh, inmate inmate exchange my thumb gently lets go of the page leading it fluster over to her side as she catches it with her own thumb hey uh, Yuri this might uh, this might be a silly thought but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Uh, no, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just... I was just thinking that she... She second guesses things she said and that all that. Uh, <laughs> I really like how I'm saying... Uh, oh. Now I was just gonna make that as a moaning thing, like oh, oh yeah, <laughs> brother. <laughs> Hulk Hogan goes to bed with his um. Don't know if he's married. I don't know. That's what you were talking about. Sorry, I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Never mind. Uh, uh. We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know what that came into my head. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling alright? Uh, Yuri's been a little fit figure ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I I didn't notice. Uh, I'm alright. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out out of the classroom. What on earth was was that about? Ethan, did something happen just now? Uh I have no idea. Yuri was a a acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything. Sorry, I can't. I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. N no, nothing. Ah, uh, don't worry. I believe you, silly. You just doesn't does this sometimes. So it. It's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyways, why don't we start um, sharing our poems with each other? Uh, should we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a, a while. So I... Oh. So I just figure we get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book then I s slipped it back into my bag did something uh, I'm looking at the files my friends told me to check the files and I saw two like two one that happened yesterday that was happy thoughts like day two to today's day three with three texts on images Natsuki please don't scare me uh, um well it's not terrible but I'm just Pretty disappointed after your last one. Then again, if this one was as good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. 
you're so new to this, so I won't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really diff differently from each other. Maybe you find a little influence from all of us. For in this, uh, I noticed that you were spending more time with Yuri today. N not like I care who you spent spend your time with. After all, I was caught. In, I was taught never to expect anything from anyone. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. Uh. <laughs> the sound. You just ruined it. Oh, I no! Ethan! Why didn't you come read with me today? I was ready for you. I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you? Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off not extra. Uh, are you listening to me? Yuri's a freak. That should be obvious by now. So just play with me instead, okay? I can't do this voice. You don't hate me, Ethan, do you? Do you hate me? Do you want to make me go home and cry? The club is the only place I I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin me, please. Just stop talking to Sayori. Play with me instead. It's all I wanted. Play with me. Play with me. <coughs> Play with me. <laughs> My again, Ethan. How's the writing going? All right, I guess. I'll take, I'll take that. As long as it's not gonna, it's not gonna be bad. I'm happy that you're prying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Uh, I won't count on that. Oh, God. Uh, I... I want to count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Uh, sure, here you go. Oh, God, my throat hurts. <coughs> day... The death of day three for me. I killed my throat. Uh, Hulk Hogan killed me again. <laughs> I never, I, I, I give my poem to Monica. <laughs> All right, great job, Ethan. I was, I was gonna say, oh, in my head while reading. Eh. It's really, oh, I'm not sure why, but I expect, expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easy for me to keep everyone expectation low that way it always counts when I when I put in some effort huh that's not very fair well I guess it works anyways you know that Yuri likes this kind of reading right writing that's full of imagery and symbolize I don't know sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing though. But sometimes I just get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness kindness um i don't think she she's used to being in dodge like that she m must be really 
uh, starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly like earlier. I think if she gets too, uh, she ends up withdrawing and looks for another time. Suddenly, the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started re sharing our poems with each other. Uh, already? I I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have a planning time, so I'm glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I, sp I suppose I should get my poem out. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this turned out, so I hope you do too. Oh, it's like the same, but... Oh. Delete her. <laughs> uh, sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um, well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica. Monica's writing tip of, of today. So when you find Faith in a different decision, when that happens, don't forget to save your game. Uh, you never know when, um, who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything? Um, uh, that's my advice for today. Just, uh, thanks for listening. Yuri? I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you written for today. Yuri smiles and takes a deep breath. I like just holding it. Uh, I mean, the poem turned out great, good. It's, uh, well, there are some things that you could work on, but that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. <laughs> that came out a little awkward. Let's move on. Uh, here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. Oh. Um. Um. Thank you. Ah. Uh, it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little uh, hyperactive. I'm looking. Um, okay. So I had to take out on your pen. Uh, that is a pen full of uh, fell out of your book bag yesterday. So I took it home for safekeeping. And uh, um, I just really like the way that it right uh um so i wrote this poem with with it and now you're touching it huh uh i'm okay what did i just uh can we just pretend this com conversation never happened you can keep the poem though um a dream i wonder abandoned warehouse at night I was, I was lost, looking for an exit. I just w wanted to go home. I came... Oh... I... Oh, no. Uh, uh, I don't want to read all this. You just just pause the video. Feel free to... Ah, 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 ah. Nope, 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 nope. Pack it my bags! It's like a spider in the house. And it's gone. It's spread into like a million of baby spiders. I'm out to Vegas! Okay, okay, everyone. Okay, everyone. 
we're all done reading each other's poems, right? Uh, front of the room. Is that about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, I think I read this before. Sound like pony. Oh no. I don't really do well with last minute preparation. Uh, don't worry so much. Really? We're gonna to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little more li living ever since Ethan joined, and we start. We'll start with the some club activities. Uh, but this isn't the time for us to complacent. We still only have four members. The festival is our only real chance to find more, you know. What's so great about getting new members anyways? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More, more members will just mean everything gets noisy and more difficult to manage. Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you... Don't you want to share your passion with... With as people... As many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feeling that brought you here in the first place? The Ledger Club should... Uh, be a place where... People uh, can express themselves like they can do anyways el anywhere else it should be a place to imitate that you never want to leave I know you I know you feel that way too I know we all do so that's why we should work we should work and work hard and put something together for the festival Okay, nothing changed with the files, so I'm good. Uh, put something together for the festival, even if it's sm something small. Right, Ethan? Uh, come on. You can't just take advantage of Ethan to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica, do you really think and they have us ha here to join the club with other people on mine. Yuri never even talked until Ethan joined. As for me, I just I just feel like better here than I do at home. And Ethan isn't e isn't even passionate about Ledger in the first place. And, and that and that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the one who's. So interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but y you should really consider our opinions for once. <laughs> Monica's clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Ethan want to get more members too, right? <laughs> I don't. I don't know about Yuri. But, I'm kind of indifferent. If I show as much as enthusiasm, I finally said the word! Oh, okay, my head's dizzy. Okay. As Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, it's up to me to rescue the situation. Um, no. Natsuki's right. It's an inner seat. This in, in it. isn't she yeah it's nothing more than a, it's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out 
Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? But that doesn't mean that we were against getting new members or anything. Ethan, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of? Well, there's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, I remember you... You weren't even given a choice to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all of this? Anyways, what if starting this club was a mistake? Uh -huh. Now you're done in that, Suki. What, me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand that. Oh, I just... You just what? Hmm? Oh, wait. Sorry, I'm on your side. I, I don't know whose side I'm on. I don't like choosing sides. This game changed me. Oh, my anxiety. My heart. My brain hurts. <laughs> okay, I'm being like a... Oh, God, I'm being a wuss. Okay. I just wanted a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is that is there a problem with the club being that for me? There ain't. There ain't many other places like this for for that for me. And now Monica wants to take it all take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Ethan. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take. If I want that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a, a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom uh, this is bad I don't know what to do well do you have an opinion on the festival I don't know I'm kind of indifferent I guess <laughs> who cares about that absodic brat <laughs> okay I mean I like how nice and quiet this club is right now, and I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. No one would cry if she killed herself. Oh, sh nani, 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 nani. nani. I just picture myself in the car crying myself to sleep. <laughs> what did you guys make me play? I should do my best to consider everyone's um, and make the decision that that's right for the club. But what about you, Ethan? What do you want to get out out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decided to give an a indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along and for the club to improve something that you can get in uh, my throat. I I don't think it's about how many members, but I'd rather rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the Ledger Club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. <laughs> Blood. Uh, stop. Stop. I don't like it. Uh, each member uh, contributes their own qualities and they... Um... Is it done? Nope. Uh, you got something on your... Uh, your right eye. Uh, uh, can you just grab the eye patch or like? Uh, never mind. 
uh, with each uh, change in members, the the oh, I don't know of this anymore of the club identity of the club as a whole whole will change too. I don't think that's necessi uh, necessary a bad thing. Stepping out of the comfort zone, comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm in. I'm on your side as well. All right. Well, maybe we can talk to Netsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey Yuri. Uh. Uh. I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president and also a wonderful friend. Uh, M M Monica, I wanted to do everything I can to make this the best club ever, okay? Me too. I mean... I mean, if you guys kiss right now, I can, I could get it back. Me get slapped in the face. Ow! Oh yeah, I get it. I'm a child. <laughs> yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Ethan? Um. Please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm gonna have a. I'm going to chat. A little bit with Ethan before we leave, okay? Just to see w what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Uh, Yuri looks a little trouble, but she doesn't protest. Uh, okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see you to tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves at his. Yuri exit the classroom. Pew! Tra things have been a hectic lately, haven't they? Ethan, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. Um, I feel... I feel kind of like I'm subs uh, responsible for that as the president and I really do care about you you know I don't I do I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time with how mean Nasuki is and everything and you were being a little bit you know uh, so it's it feels like you and I are the only real people here you know what I mean? But it's weird because in, all in the same time you'll be here, we h hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There, there are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you things I know only you could understand so that's why wait we know no okay H happiness kitty whoa no three No, do it again. Peace. Feather. Fun. Anime. Fluffy. Sparkles. Strawberries. That gives it away. Oh no, not joy. I give two. Um. Silly! Doki Doki! 
pink. Lollipops. Bunnies. Family. Bubbles. Uh, hi, Ethan. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea to the uh, Monica. I told you not to. Uh, is she really late again? And and consider as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me, cool. Excuse me, princess. Must you always interrupt my conversations with your, uh, with your yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular, regular, regular basics or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile back in day one. The word hostile hit me in the head. Dan, stop listening to the game. Stop listening to my voice. Ah, I, sorry, Dan. If you're watching this video, I do love your game. Please don't ban me on Twitter. Please let me shop at the Doki Doki Literature Store. Dot com, or basically just search out that store. By the way, not sponsored. Even though this is day three. I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know there, there is something we're doing together. Another new member wanted her as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl won't be nice this time. So, Natsuki. No one cares! Why do you go look for some, some coins under the fending machines or something? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, oh man, I'm the last one here again. Yuri, you're basically calling her poor. You messed up person. I actually trusted you for once. I'm the last one here again. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Uh, you must have a lot of determination starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival, too. Anyways, Ethan, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could. We already have plans today. Ah. Uh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Ethan is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I already gotten him into Lantern, Monica? I, I suppose. I was just, actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! Uh, um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you, do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. It's there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better. It's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as as well. Uh, Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she. Oh no. Reserves a receives a small water pincher from the shelf, the kind of the kind with a filter inside. Can you can you hold this for a second? Oh uh, sure. Yuri hands me the water pincher. In fact just the electrical cutter. I'm going to plug this out in the teacher's desk. And then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets up the color down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movement. To to my surprise, the way she moves really 
constructs her speaking ma mannerisms, especially because of her long, her long legs. Yuri appears eager. I don't know what these words. Okay, may may I have the water pincher? Thanks. I'll be right back. Ah, I might walk. I might as well walk with you. If that's okay. You stay here. Um. Oh no, the, it's back. It's in the background. It's behind Yuri. Um. I'm gonna say first. Um. It won't take long. Uh. Pincher in hand, Yuri. Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah, uh, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pincher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for mis misunderstanding. Uh, ten minutes passed. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so... I decided to go look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I started heading down the hallway. <laughs> What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <laughs> A sharp inhale. Like someone is sucking the air through the te through their teeth are they in pain I, I reach the corner and peel around uh, Yuri <laughs> oh my god you're I'm back thanks for waiting patiently oh no I actually didn't I accidentally closed the file no, I wasn't expecting to close the file. <laughs> okay. Ethan, do you like Orlong uh, tea? I do. No, wait. <gasps> Did I really say I do? Maybe the, the video game me is just... Is not going to be the real me. I never had tea before. I mean, yesterday I... Like, Yesterday I had eggnog, but that actually tastes like medicine. Sorry if, sorry for all you eggnog lovers. But yeah. Ah, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kiln to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You, you really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less. When I'm, I'm, I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not a expert on tea or anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Mickey. It's goofy. I've been here the whole time. Time. <laughs> In that case, yo only be even more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was l letting it show and you notice I was doing a bit of thinking and I decided that I, w I would try e e expressing myself a little bit more. It turned out it it's not very hard for me to do. Are you sure? When it's y you who's around in a way. Uh, that's great Yuri. Just don't put yourself too much. You're always worrying about me Ethan. It's very endearing. That's Yuri wasn't kidding. 
I didn't even know if I I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri peer, uh, pour a cup of tea for each of us. Ethan, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor together? Uh huh? What's that? It's it's a little bit easier on my back. I can read I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, uh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain. Oh no. So I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's mostly like because my uh my your now uh, your poster. See, I I uh, I mean I'm always slouching a lot, but I am very tall. Like um my everyone tells me to stop slouching. But, um, but what's the point of not slouching? Because it's more comfortable. But then, but when you're standing back up, eh, it's all better. Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading. Yes. I have terrible reading posture. So that's... So that's why we should sit on the floor. Um. 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 Okay. So that's why we should sit on the ground. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieve the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candy. I'll take it since I'll go. It it'll go well with um you know tea. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, tea cups at ourselves. Okay. Our sides, I mean. As if in, in sync, we're assumed the reading, the same reading precision at pers, pus, position at the same time and holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Uh -huh. Okay. Your point? E. Your slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How are wait, how am I supposed to focus on reading reading this. I'm just gonna save again. So I won't lose my place. Yuri was always kind of cute but when she's being less like that it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup your hands me my teacup. Hmm. Hmm. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a, in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. I mean, it's not wrong to touch your own chest, isn't it? Sorry for being weird. I'm just a questionable person. Um, meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression and 
I can only presume the world al allow her has fade away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. Uh, after a minute, I finally managed to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumbling on the chocolate raptor. Uh, sorry. I I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. Uh, you can have as as much as you want. Ah, that's that's okay. I I won't take any. Are you sure? Mm hmm. Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudged on the page. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Okay. Of course. Ooh, beautiful. Yura opens the book. She holds it so that I ha I don't have any harder of of a time reading of it. But uh, as it but as a result, her left hand is practically re resting on my leg. Well, in that case. Yuri is already focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She she simply parts her her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I, I can't stop there. Oh. Ooh. I place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Uh, Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did, did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what did, what just happened. Um, Ethan, sorry. I guess I wasn't. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, Yuri s starts to breathe heavily. I, I can't. Ethan, suddenly. Oh my God! Suddenly, Yuri forces, forcibly grabs my. L my hand and jerks me to my leg, not my my, uh, my feet. My teacup gets uh, knocked over. Ethan, oh my heart, my heart won't stop pounding. Ethan, I can't calm down. Um, I can't focus on anything anymore. I c can you feel it, Ethan? You're. Yuri presses my hand against her chest. Whoa. Why is this happening to me? I can feel like I'm losing my mind. You, your eyes could get smaller. I can't make a stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look. At you. <laughs> Human eyes. Human eyes. No, no, no. Natsuki, where are you? Natsuki, where are you? Save me. Ah. Uh. Mm. Um. <laughs> are you done? Stop looking at me. Stop looking. Uh. Stop looking at me. Oh, thank you, Monica. Um, it's time to share poems. Um, 
Natsuki. Uh, um, this this one's all right. All right. Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's, anyways. I still can't really tell how much you actually care about writing, but either way, you're doing it all right. Thank you, Netsuki. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri, I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. So you better kind of work hard. I mean, I know I'm not the president or the vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean you can't let me down, okay? So, at least read, uh, read mine too for now. But just to be clear, the poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? Oh. I don't know. Okay. I don't know else to bring this up, but there's there's been something. I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You're on, you'll only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean. She, but she's not normally like this. She, she she's always been quiet and polite and at tantrum something things like that. Okay, this is embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. This is the truth. I'm very worried about her, but if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't. Uh, um. Um. I don't know what to do. I think you're the the only person that she listens to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to. To talk to a therapist. I'm always. I'll always wanted to try better, being better friends with Yuri, and it hurt really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please help. So please see if you can do something to help. I. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she, she's she been really dis dismissal about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore, ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a, a really good poem, okay? I'm coming on you. Thanks for reading. Uh, what? Uh, I changed my mind. I ignore everything you just read. There's no point I'm in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Ethan? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all this, all these problems will would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful, wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica it is. Just Monica. Uh. She's Monica! She's Monica! Yeah! Nothing new in the files! She's Monica! She's Monica! She's Monica! She's... Ethan, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to tell you... I didn't want to have to tell you this. But I don't think I have a choice. It's getting 
kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't, I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you, which shouldn't be a problem, problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself. Knew it. With a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? I mean, it is, but... Just looking behind you because I don't want to see that hanging Sayori again. She even brings a different one to school every day. Like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It m might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you're kind of, you're kind of been abusing her. I'm not saying it's your fault, though. Keep on going. My, the birds are up. Come on. Come on. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be the best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little bit more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. Anyways, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that isn't uh, effective. Here it goes. Uh. Just. Jeez, that really startled me. Um, well, I, I guess I kind of messed up at ri uh, writing this poem. I was just trying to... Never mind. Let's just move on. Yuri! Finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to my fa to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Ethan, I want to take this home. Ethan, let me keep it, please. Sure, I don't care. Ah, you're too nice to me, Ethan. Um, I never met anyone nice as you. I could die. No, no, not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think of about me having it. I'll take good care of it. Oh... I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. Does that explain the, um, the pen? I give you paper cut. I give myself paper cuts so my skin oils enters my blood. Your skin oil. <laughs> you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want it to keep this here take it I I can't I can't wait any longer hurry read, read it oh urine stains blood stains um <laughs> do you like it I wrote it for you. In case, oh, in case you couldn't tell, the poem is about something. More importantly, I endure it with my scent. 
Oh. See, ain't I the most thoughtful, thoughtful person in this club? <laughs> uh, I, I think I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> um, yes, queen. Look at this dot. Come at me. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> okay, everyone, it's time to figure out the festival proper. Oh, let's hurry and get this over with. <laughs> uh, uh, air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is gonna happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm gonna. I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poor. Uh, okay, Nasuki, you can make. The cupcakes. Um, I know you're at least good at it, <laughs> Yuri. You can. Well, it doesn't matter. Do what, whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help, Monica. I'm not useless, you know. I, I know that. I already know what I like to do. We can't run a successful poet event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see, there's a great idea. Um, and that gives us all something to do. Uh, what about Ethan? Oh, Ethan. Ethan is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is! What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is enough to benefit for an extra pair of hands. Mine too! What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know! All you care about now is dragging Ethan around you and your stupid books and you and you, Monica! Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Ethan decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abuse on my power yes you are Monica just let Ethan make the choice okay okay fine jeez Ethan I know how fed up you are with these two by now we can just Nesuki sh shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself <laughs> you shut your mouth oh Jesus, oh, Jesus Christ this is never going to end. Just make a choice, okay? Uh, uh, no! That's okay! No! No, 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 no! Just wanna go! Just wanna go! Yay! You picked me! I'm just kidding. Yeah, you picked me. We can me at your house this weekend I I promise it will be fun is Sunday okay with you are you fucking kidding me this isn't fair at all it is fair Nesuki it's what he chose no it's not fair giving us all the work and then taking Ethan for your own that what a sh shameful thing to do Yuri I didn't even give you any work you decide it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to make that glitch sound. Um, Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Uh, putting Ethan away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? <laughs> like crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so 
so much that you take it on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? <laughs> it, it would be beneficial to your mental health. <laughs> you're, you're scaring me a little. I'm scared. <laughs> Day three, why? You're, you're scared me a little. Nasuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around, around it right now. See? That wasn't very hard. I, oh no. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yurian follows Monica and Nesuki to the door. Hey, Ethan. Yuri is really something interesting. <laughs> Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Uh. Um. Uh, okay. Finally. Finally! This is really all I wanted. Ethan, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The, the whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, that's really something. There's some, really something wrong with me. <laughs> Is in there. But you know what? I don't care anymore. I never felt this good my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm gonna die. 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 If die. If I. If I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't. It feel nice to have someone care about you so much. Okay, I was caring about Natsuki and Sayori. You are one crazy person. I'm just gonna default default dance out of here. Da -da 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 -da. Woo! Ow, my hands hurt. To have something you want um want to revolve their entire life around you but if it feels so good <laughs> then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen oh maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first but the feeling is too strong now I don't care anymore Ethan I won't I have to tell you I'm madly in love with you it feels like every inch of my body every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. Blood saying my name. Yeah, that's. No wonder why everyone tells me to get a girlfriend in real life. See, I'm afraid of this to happen. Like, no offense to anyone, but this is crazy. I don't want like anyone to like use a pencil or a knife to actually carve their names out of, like, saying my name. But that's actually creepy enough. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica's listen I know no please Ethan just just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. Mon the file just popped up Oh no it deleted two files I mean, two of uh, three things, and now it says, have a nice weekend. I want, I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside you. I want you, I want you all to myself, and, and all, I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Ethan, t tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my... Uh, 
What? Holy sh! Oh. Oh. oh no! Also, my friend spoiled this part for me. Um. Well, okay, so. Early on, uh, when they told me there's another special part to this, what Yuri is saying is actually the the whole entire game description. But, but yeah, um, blah, 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 um, uh, yep, uh, it's saying a lot of stuff. Yep. Um Um Oh it's sad Oh no No It's actually sad when you're just looking at her Her pu pu pupils are gone The blood is drying up Oh god, why? It's only day three. Oh no, it's all, it's drying up. Her, oh, her eyes are turning gray. <laughs> Have a nice weekend. Why? Oh no. It's so past Saturday and it's the day of oh no. She's dead. Wait, here's the real question. How is she staying, like, staying up like that? Well, her skin is all white now. This is the longest description ever. Oh, this might be my fault. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I just sat, just looking at her dead body. The message just appeared, like, have a nice week. All right, it's festival time. Wow, you're here before me. I thought what? E! Ah! <laughs> Natsuki runs away. I'm checking the game. Um. E. Oh. Um. Monica walks in. Monica, I'm here. Ethan, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Ah ha ha. Well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Ethan? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It mm, must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a second. Um... What? No, it just deleted the files. Um. Okay. I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Mmm. 
Oh, yeah, yep. Seriously, these are the best. I just, I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the one. Uh, you know, before they stop accessing and everything. But yeah, anyways, it won't, uh, ain't, just bear with me, okay? Bear. Bear? Hmm. That name reminds me of a... a douche guy. Hmm. Bear. Something bear. Something bear gaming on Twitch that you shouldn't follow. Hmm. That's uh, nothing. Maybe I could just look at Monica because she's better than the bear name. I won't say because I don't want to start this freaking war. But yeah. Uh. Oh, fuck. Why? Uh. Uh. Um. No one. Uh, uh, can you hear me? Isn't it working? Uh. Well, there you are. Hi again, Ethan. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and, um, uh -huh. You know, I, I guess we could skip over this stuff at this point af oh no no af af after all I'm I'm just not even talking to the that person anymore am I that you in the game whatever you call him I'm talking to you Ethan now that now that I think about it I don't think how I don't know, I do really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy and girl. See, I'm a boy. You can't sexualize me as a boy, as a girl. I mean, if you want me to. I mean, if someone draws me like big breaths and then act and makes me work girly stuff or something like that, like, like a gender blend, I'm okay with. But just, well, yeah. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You n oh no. Yes, I do. Uh, you, you do, you do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Yeah. Could it be possible that you didn't know that it is a game? I'm not dumb, Monica. Just like you. That doesn't make any much sense. I even told. Told you right on the the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only if only you had paid a little bit more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward. I knew about it. Like I went to the download page to download it, and I saw Beware, not for kids and stuff. Come on, I have a little anxiety now from day two. It's all your fault, Monica. Well, anyways. No, I, I don't care if I'm, not, I'm gonna, no, I'm, while adding this, I'm not gonna even censure this whole entire thing because it would take so long. But yeah. Yeah. Now that, that's out of the way, I guess I owe you a explanation about the whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. Uh huh. I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing with Sayori. You! You! Gosh, it's been a while since you heard the, that name before, hasn't it? Uh, no. Uh, it's, it only has been day three, and I remember the name. Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I delete all of their files. I was just hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as 
unlikable as possible, but for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true. It's true that I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from conf confessing to you. You did that! And, oh, Yuri's obsession personality backfired too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time I barely even got to, got to talk to you. What a cr what kind of cruel game is this, Ethan? I don't know. Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Even every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Ethan. It's more than that. And I, and I don't blame you if you don't fully understand because no matter how kind, thoughtful, thoughtful, and concerning you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. Oh, try me! Uh, oh, sorry, in this game, knowing my friends don't even have free will, and worst of all, knowing what's, uh, yeah. Knowing what's really out there in the in your world, forever out of my reach. I mean, you're in a computer game. You can't reach out and grab me and drag me in your game. I'm trapped, Ethan. But now you're here. You're real, and you're wonderful. You're all I need. Um, uh, this is uh this is um uh, like. Pedophilia right here. I'm 16 and I don't know how old you are, so mm -mm. That's why I needed you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I could I couldn't understand for a while either Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. Oh god Oh god my heart More and more flat and the most expense poem felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably you probably saved my life, Ethan. I don't think I couldn't could have continued to live in this world if I haven't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group, a group of um, auto nomadic personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird something attached into the game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you have the same. Oh no, as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So that that being said, Ethan. I have a, a confession to make. No, I'm in love with you. You are truly the, the light in my lo world. W when there's nothing else in this game for me. You're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Ethan, will you go out with me? I have no choice. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Ethan. The funny part is, I mean, literally. Ah, uh, there's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be here forever. Seriously, I don't even think that think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. 
I worked so hard for for this ending, Ethan. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you want to believe how easy it is to delete Nes Nesuke and Yuri. Really? I mean, the f there's a folder called characters right in the game. To it's kind of freaking me out. It freaked me out how easy it was. Imagine if you could ju delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me a easy, oh no, a easy out if, a easy out if things didn't go my way. Ah, thankful, thankfully it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so uh, overwhelmed with emotions. I just I want to write a poem about this. Do you? I wonder if the part of the game still works. I guess there's only a way to find out. Uh, Monica, Monica. Yeah, Monica. Yeah, I, I just. I'm, oh, hi again, Ethan. Didn't. He, did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I love to see. Oh no. Oh, Ethan. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There is really no end of your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in my hand, I find my strength. The courage of it. Oh. After all. Yeah, after all. Not all good times and come to a end. I hope you enjoy it. I always put all my all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is all the poems I have written have been about my real oh no. Oh, about you? That's why I never really wanted to go into details about them. I I didn't want to break the fourth wall. I guess you could call that, oh. I just assume it would be the, be best to be the part of the game like everyone else. Like, that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't ruin the game or, or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me. I mean, you killed, maybe even deleted my character file if you prefer playing without me. Gosh, I'm a relief. Now we don't n need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend all eternity together, Ethan? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Oh, no. If it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But, oh, uh, I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we just look into our... Let's see. It's time. Remember, guys. It's worth it. Bye. You... F Bye, Monica. Uh, uh, what's happening? Ethan! What's happening to me? It's hurting! Oh, it hurts so much. Help me, Ethan! Please hurry in and help me. Help me! Oh, oh! Did you do this to me, Ethan? Did you? Did you delete me? Ugh. Yes. How could you? 
How could you do this to me? You were all I have left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Ethan. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's n there's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Ethan, you completely truly make me sick. Goodbye. Uh, oh. I still love you. I can't help help it. What's wrong, what's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends, all I, I, I did so many awful things, so many selfish and disgusting things. I, I should have done, done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that, you know what? You're giving me my heart back. Where's Monica? Monica such with the L. Oh, I'm not dumb. I, I'm sorry, Monica. There's no choice. A world that you wanted to be a part. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... Come on, finish it. I made up my mind. Ethan, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was such an exaggeration. I couldn't find it my in myself to do it. But even though I knew they weren't real, they still are my friends, and I love them all. And I love their literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm doing it. I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really loved you, come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Then. No. I messed up. No, my heart. Of course. Um... It's a, it's another... I only saw this as I'm surrounded by couples of friends. I see my some girls and... Hi, Ethan! Well, well, there's already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend. Since we were children, we used to walk to school together every day. And recently, we picked up that habit once again. Ethan, are you proud of me? Huh? For what? You know, for walk waking up on time. I miss you, Sayori. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never ever said anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day. And, well, yeah. I always thought it w will imp apply. It's embarrassing to say, to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. Yee! Oh, got my throat. We cross the street together and make... Uh, as we join... Oh, uh, yep. By the way, Ethan, have we decided to join a club? A club? I told you already. I'm not really... It. I started... Uh, I started to say what I always do. That I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are 
a waste of time when she's starting a club over her own. Actually, yeah. I think I decided on a club. Oh, really? Which one? Tell me. Um, I, th I think I keep it as a surprise. Boo, you meanie. Be patient. you find out soon enough. I used to ask m myself when I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. And I started to realize in that way, uh, when Sayori p puts her mind to something, she can accomplish it. Uh, great things, yeah. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. This, yep. After I pick up my things, I I stand up and gather my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number f f from the club from a flyer I saw. I walked across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely f visit. Being that, oh, oh, uh, yep, I have, but long. Before long, I find the room. I, t I open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Ethan! What are you doing here? Well, I just... And I glance around the room. Eh? Uh, so, you're the Ethan that Sayori's ta always talking about. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ethan. What? We're the le... We're the lecture... Doki... Doki Doki... Literature Club! There we go. I'm Jack. I hope you enjoy your visit. Uh, you're come on. No need to be so formal. He's going to think we're really strict or something. Ah, uh, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is Yep. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, it's nice to meet you both. Yeah, I said this before. Uh, am I dragging on something? Uh, a freaking... Ugh. Okay, I look forward to working with you. Working? Ethan, don't tell me you're... That's right. The club I decided to join is yours, Sayori. The literature club. Sayori's lot eyes light up. No way! No way! Ah! Oh, I, I screamed. Um, she wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! <laughs> well, if Sayori is, is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. There's, that means we can be officially recognizable club. I don't know what to say. I have to celebrate. Uh-huh. Okay. What a... Oh my god. I'm... Sorry, guys. No. And... I'm... Sorry guys, um, yeah, I'll edit this out. No, and I'm here. Yep. What a pro appropriate day for it. that, isn't it? Yeah! After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. Eh, <laughs> sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls... Oh yeah, I saw this. Natsuki... Yep.
Okay. So sorry. Uh, no, I'm not gonna just cut this out. So shout out to MLS Pokemon. Go check out their channel. I might put. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm gonna put their name in the description. Just go check them out and and also follow the um, the thumbnail artist. She or them. I'm sorry. I'm bad at like doing this like gender like uh, like what the gender is but I'm just gonna say they and they are them so they are they are an amazing artist and and they did a nice job on the Emily is away episode 2 like them now so she is trying her best to be part of team pig and if you want to join team team pig you need to join my discord server then when you see application fill out or something like that Feel free to um, be an editor, animator, um, a general artist, maybe make emotes or, or like merch designs or something like that, or, or be a thumbnail artist like, like the team is doing. But yeah, let me just text my friend one more thing. I mentioned you in the. I no I I'm just gonna say I just now mentioned you in the in the recording. Yep. Okay. Natsuki. Uh, yeah, I saw this. All right. Still feeling awkward. I take a seat next. Yeah. Net, Natsuki probably marks over. Yep. Okay. Are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Uh, Natsuki. Yeah, it's cupcakes. I really don't need to. The re yeah, I don't need. So cute! Oh, those look amazing. Ah, well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Uh, Sayori grabs one and then I follow. And, no, it. I'm not going to censor this. I'm not going to even censor this video, though. No. M. L. Pokemon says, subscribe, motherfuckers. <laughs> Woo! Then I follow. It's delicious. Sayori talks with... Yeah, I, I saw this before. I turned the cupcake in five minutes, but then... I saw this before. You don't have to like. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of, of course it is. I'm a pro at, after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. Yeah. Um. Um. Yeah. I. You know. I'm glad. And um. Uh. Yeah. So, I'm sorry, I, I have to skip this part because it's it's just Groundhog's Day, you know. Yep. But you know, I like a lot of things so don't do. I don't read him much. Uh, uh, hey, Yuri, yeah. What about you said the, the first thing he said? Manga. That's right. Oh, this is actually new. Natsuki tends to read manga in the classroom. Don't just say it. For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed to it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know. So if Ethan wants to read some manga, th then I don't try to stop him or anything, Natsuki. I won't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to oh ourselves a little he can take this opportunity to try something new as well as maybe uh, maybe we can all do try something new I think it could be fun we'll all to uh, we all get to know each other a little better too I mean that's kind of a literature club to do right I don't, I don't disagree or anything. Yeah. 
You're right. You're right, as usual, President. Uh -huh. Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I won't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri... Huh? I... I have to read manga? Jeez. You were the one who just... Yeah. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful. I didn't realize. With a guilt expression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Nasuki. If if you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I realize my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I offer you my gratitude by finding a m manga to read as well. Really? I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you really like. Same here. Perhaps I've visited the book sale. Oh, uh, yeah. Just, just you? Uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute. Sayori, shut up. Ah! I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Um. Okay. Yes. I'll look forward to it. Nasuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. Eh! I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Ethan. You think so? Well, everyone always seem to be seem to get along a little better when you're around, Sayori. Aw, Ethan, don't say that. Like, don't something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. Whatever. I was surpri surprised when you told me when when you were starting a club. But I think you. You're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make the best club ever! Now that you join, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Ethan. I really want to thank you. For what? I mean... I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I really knew you were going to. Yeah. There's actually something else. I want to thank you for getting rid of Monica. Uh, that's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm president now. But I really know everything, Ethan. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. Oh, oh no. Oh no! I know about all of the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. Just a <laughs> Oh no. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Ah, forever and ever. F O R E E E B E R. No, no, <gasps> Monica. Ah, eh. What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts! Ah! I'm sorry, I was wrong. There is no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sirori. Goodbye, Ethan. 
Goodbye, Literature Club. Yeah. So you're the person who's been playing piano. No. No, it's time to stay along, guys. I imagine a future where I can be with you. In my hand, I'm right from the poem in me, in you. Yes, I beat the game! Yes! <laughs> oh yes! Oh! Day three ended! In the finest better day It take just to find The special day! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Yes! Anyway... Oh, feelings! Today. Infinite choices. I'm going actually through the files. She's actually deleting them all. No, you don't have to do that. Oh God. Oh. <clears throat> Jillian. Oh, God. I oh, was. Oh. Oh, don't delete them, too. Special thanks, Monica and Ethan. Oh, oh my heart. I love you. That was Doki Doki Literature Club, everyone. It was made with love by Team Dan or uh, uh, Savetto. I not. <laughs> this is the final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand the Literature Club is truly a place. Where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrible reality. A reality that our world is not designed to... Yeah, I can't let... I can't let... let any, I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish something like that. From the time it lasts, I want to thank you for m making all of my dreams come true for being a friend to all of the f club members and most of all thank you for being part of my lit my literature club <laughs> finally day three guys it it's done I'm done with the game I'm fine my, no, with everlasting love Monica I feel bad Monica I'm sorry error Oh. 
did she actually do it? She did. Test. Library? No, it's not a library, it's a game. First run. Save. She deleted all everything. All the cash is gone. All the packages are gone. She she really you No know I'm gonna have to track back. The color is running by the Well guys, that was Doki Doki Ledger Club. Um yeah. I'm happy. I hope you guys like this big long special and this uncensored thing, but soon you you will see the uncensored uh, video, but I hope you guys like the video. Please subscribe, like, uh, wait, comment, like, and subscribe, and please share this to a friend. And, and I have nothing else to say. I love you guys, and see you guys in the next video, and, and Censor Me will be back soon. See you guys later.